This is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, and I'm broadcasting from the Digital Health Summit, the Summer Summit in San Francisco. And I'm really excited to have with me uh, uh, Lori Saft, who is the director of Watson Partnerships. Believe it or not, we all know Watson can play chess and that Watson's playing around in the health field, and now Watson's making partnerships. What's that all about, That's Lori? right. Yeah, so so we've opened it up, actually. We, we took what, frankly, were the crown jewels of the company, which was this amazing Watson cognitive capability. Um, and what that means, by the way, is it's kind of this new species of computing that actually can... Oh, species. Are we talking transhuman here? <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite yet. But it's really it's a, it's a, a set of technology that learns. And very soon it'll be able to reason and debate. So really cool stuff. I think it's a, it's a whole new era for us in computing. What we've done then is offer that up to a set of startups and mid-sized companies that want to build on top of it and innovate on that, on that uh, technology. Okay, so we uh, have a lot of innovators and young entrepreneurs and startup people who uh, watch our videos, and I think that what they're going to want to know is, okay, everybody says they take the newbies, but are you really just working with the big guy? I know you're you're, you're talking to WellTalk. That's a pretty well-funded, pretty along along the line in terms of a, a young company. What about the guy who's got two or three employees? So we, we go up and down the spectrum, and, you know, it's funny because a lot of our partners say to us, like, you don't seem like the IBM that I knew, right? You're not your father's IBM. <laughs> right. But it's very true. that It's part of the reason that they carved us off as our own individual business unit so that we could go innovate, we could work with young companies. Some of our early partners have two, three people. They're in their seed stage of funding. Um, all the way up through the Well Talks and even, frankly, larger companies than, than Well Talk. Um, but but that's part of, again, our ability to be nimble as, as a standalone business. What's glad, I'm glad to hear that IBM is being nimble. So the question is, um, I'm a young company. What are you giving me? You're giving me access to... Watson itself, or it's actually it's offered up through a software development kit, and it, it's an API. So it's oh, okay. access to an API, and the first API we started with is it's called a question and answer Q and A API. So what it would allow you to do if you have any kind of an interaction with your end user customer, where that customer needs to ask a question, or patient, you know, consumer needs to ask a question, but ask it in a natural language way, the way we're talking right now, mm -hmm. not scripted as a search term, but just the way that they're thinking about the topic, then that Q&A API goes and makes a call on a body of content that the partner makes available to come back with answers or candidate answers to that, that um, consumer's question. So it's that API of that question and answer function. It goes out, it reads that information, unstructured content, free form text, and comes back with answers that are scored, you know, based on sort of the hypothesis of these are your candidate answers um, based on the question that's being asked. Give me an example of a health company. Yeah, so, um, well, let me use WellTalk because I think it's a fantastic example, and we heard from Jeff Margolis today. Um, they have a, a tool called Cafe Well, which is a health concierge. So not, not only can you interact with your health provider, but actually take um, steps with your employer to understand, um, frankly, a, a healthcare itinerary based on your own personal profile, um, where you may be traveling, so it understands where you are based on the mobile uh, your mobile context, and then what your health conditions may be. So um, what, what kind of restaurants should I be eating at based on my personal conditions? You know, um, if, I, if I need a oh, health... I bet In-N-Out Burger's not on that list. It's not on that list. Probably a bit more tofu, but um, you know what? What kind of exercise regimen should I keep based on you know my own personal fitness goals? Uh -huh. um, so or again, my own personal preferences in this exercise. Is it. This is right. it. Yeah. So um, so it's a it's an interaction again in this case between a healthcare consumer or a, a patient or uh, you know just a somebody who's sort of working on their wellness and your healthcare provider the healthcare payers, and then ultimately your employer who wants to make sure that you stay well so that you can work more. Well, it sounds fantastic. I mean, the opportunity to work with Watson is uh, really amazing. So let's close by having you tell our listeners how, how would they reach you? If, that, if, I'm, if I'm interested in having a partnership with you, how do I do it? So uh, the very best way, which is so simple, is to go to the ibm.com backslash Watson website. And on there, if you look for the ecosystem, which is the, the partner 
program, you can fill out just a little bit of information about what, what use case do I have in mind? What business am I in? How would I actually use this technology? And then we'll be in touch with you and we can, we can talk about access to the developer sandbox. Okay. Well, it sounds fantastic. Thank you for taking time to talk to us today. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Good.